welcome to this broadcast. Let's talk about, let's talk about free travel. Now, here's the thing. I want you to imagine lots of people, especially online, claim that they travel the world for free. They are living the life of Riley. They're spending days in paradise, getting their turn on, watching the sunset and the sunrise on the beach. The question is, if it was doable, if it was true, if it was so easy, why isn't everybody doing it? I mean, everybody, and I mean, everybody I know wants to go away somewhere exotic, taste exotic cuisine, eat exotic foods, do stuff like that. I know that's what most people want to work 50 weeks a year to do for two weeks a year. So it is something everybody or almost everybody dreams of. Unless you're somebody who has a fear of flying or maybe or you get car sick or maybe you get seasick. Most people genuinely want to. On the beach sipping pina coladas or mimosa or whatever your tipple is. And who doesn't wish to spend their days sitting on the beach with the waves lapping at their feet and the sand massaging your fatigue away after walking to the nearest cafe and sipping some java or whatever you like to sip on. I mean, that's what we all want to do, right? Now, the thing is, there are people who actually do travel the world for free. And I'm going to tell you these kind of people. And maybe you'll just start to see whether this is really true as in some people tell you, you can do it and you can, you're going to change your life and you're going to really enjoy your life. These are the kind of people who actually travel for free. Someone who really has generous parents, grandparents maybe, a boyfriend, a spouse, a sugar mama, sugar papa, or a really, really generous benefactor. So in other words, someone is paying for the life of fun and freedom while this person goes away and spend the moolah for someone else. Now, that benefactor may not mind paying for you while you go have fun, while they go work hard. <laughs> in some because people like to use the word work hard. I don't. But, you know, someone may, like, may enjoy paying for your lifestyle while you go spend your, li your, your life away skiing in Switzerland. Maybe go away to Punta Cana, go away to St. Martin's and kids spend your days at the Louvre in Paris go shopping in London, maybe you want to go to New York, I don't know, hey Denrich, how are you doing? Thank you, <laughs> but uh, you know someone is paying for it, someone somewhere, because really on this planet we live at, there is no such thing as a free lunch, so that's one type of person, you know, maybe you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth, you know, you have super wealthy parents who do not mind spending their moolah on you so you can go live the life of Riley while they work their ass off so you can live that life. Now, I mean, not all wealthy parents would like their children to spend their days every day just lazing about being beach bums, maybe taking some drugs and God knows what else. I mean, I wouldn't want my kids to do that. Some parents don't mind their kids living that lifestyle. So those people are traveling for free absolutely totally they are doing it now if your company if you work for an amazing company and your company pays for your travels usually it's work related but you can throw in some r and r and get some of those good juices flowing you know you might be an executive in that company because you have to be at that level to for the company to pay for your travels or your job demands that you actually travel, in which case they might put you up in some pokey two-star hotel for free after it's costing them, but you're bringing in the business. Now, for these people, it's, 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 it, it, is, it is a job. Or maybe you are rewarded for performing in your workplace, and therefore one of the rewards is travel, and therefore the company puts up an all-expenses trip. I know my sister-in-law has just come back off a trip from, they went to Dubai, Amsterdam, uh, they went to several, they went to about five countries, and it was all paid for by her company, and it's a company in Africa, so you can actually have a company that pays for your travel for free. It is amazing. Hey, Lawrence, how are you doing? Thank you for sharing, Mwesige, Mwesige, Lawrence, thank you for sharing. Guys, if you share this video, I'll give you a shout out. Thank you, Lawrence. You are a rock star. And uh, really, so this is the kind of thing where you actually get free travel. Your company is paying for it. You know, 
maybe you're going to be sent on a team building and uh, you know where you're going to become an expert in that niche in your company and so they send you off for free to travel and you enjoy that all expenses paid goodness i love that kind of travel by the way my husband does a lot of that too and uh, but i'll give you a different kind of travel now you may be an expert and part of your package includes uh, the company pays for your holidays, usually back to where you came from. Say you come from Uganda, your company will pay for your vacations and your family to Uganda for maybe, you know, once a year with all, everything covered, your flights and your accommodation. The assumption is you're going home, so they'll pay for your flights usually. They won't pay for your accommodation. So there you go. Hey, Margaret, how are you doing? Welcome to this broadcast. So that's Different types of people who are traveling for free, 100%, seriously. But like I said at the beginning, somebody is forking out. Somebody is working their muscle off so you can go spend some moolah. Now, maybe your company offers travel as an incentive, you know, so that you work that extra three, four hours after six and you spend nights in your office and you deliver on the target and you deliver on the results and you exceed their expectations and the reward is go away for two weeks to Mombasa or go for two weeks to, to South Africa Table Mountain will pay for a five-star hotel you're gonna enjoy have a massage have it all on us because you have brought in the money because you brought in the business so seriously you are traveling for free because somebody else is paying for it again now if you're not part of the selected mentioned above tribe or people how do you then travel for free anywhere even down to your local tourist trap. How do you do that? Maybe, how do you go for free to Moya? As in, your car is paid for, your flight over there is paid for, the accommodation is paid for. If you do not fall among the few I've mentioned, the five categories, how on earth do you travel for free? Hey, Findy, how are you doing? Welcome. So, there are ways to travel for next to nothing. There are ways to travel on the real cheap, really cheap, and I'll mention those ways to you, and you can decide whether that's your style, and uh, we call it value travel, and I'll share a couple right now, because you must be wondering, okay, we're not one of those people, so, so Julie, bring the goods already now. I'm sure you have heard some people or someone talk about a friend, a work colleague, someone they know, who quit their job, and they travel the world. There are people like that as well. But here is the thing. Those people have planned their retirement with military precision. They have planned everything to the T. They know which country they're going to go to. They know how the cost of living in that country. They know the cost of travel, cheapest travel. They know the cost of hostels. They know what they know. They might even stay in a tent inside. So they target warm countries where they are not going to die of frostbite while sleeping in their tent. Those people are not going on a luxury cruise. They're not going to live in a five-star hotel because they have decided they're going to live the life of a wanderer, a, a, the life of the wanderlust beaten, the life of somebody who just literally wants to travel the world. Hey, Shelly, how are you doing? Welcome. I haven't seen you, lovely. I haven't seen you for a long time. So years ago, it used to sound silly to me when people went, oh, I know a friend who quit their job and they're traveling the world. And I'm like, how are they surviving? How are they paying for their lifestyle? How are they paying for those flights? And how do they do it? And it kind of got me confused. But I kid you not, these people have, have planned their hiatuses with military precision. And it's not an easy thing. Hey, Sylvia Mbavazi, how are you doing? Thank you for sharing my broadcast. Sylvia Mbawazi is an amazing young lady. She's got a heart of gold. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. And uh, these people, they literally will do anything to earn a living. The people that I'm talking about who quit their jobs and then decide they're going to live the life of a nomad. They're going to travel the world. They're going to they're gonna spend their life in Malaysia and the Middle East, in the East Asia and w w South America. Those are the places they normally target all parts of Africa where it's hot, and lovely and cost of living is a lot cheaper now these people will do anything to earn their keep 
and their food and they, where they'll put their head. They, it can be exciting. It can be exciting for some, but on average, it's downright living on the edge. They are living literally from hand to mouth, but they are living the life they've chosen. And it is all right for some. It's all right for people to do that. Hey, Mariah, how are you doing? Margaret Namakula, thank you for sharing. You're a rock star. Thank you. Now, uh, they can offer their services. They can, they can maximize and leverage their skills, their expertise in return for, for that freedom to travel the world. So if you have a, a skill that you know is, is, is transboundary, you know, you, you, you could be a doctor, you could be a nurse, you could, you could have some, you could be, there are other things like web developer, you could be a video editor, you could be a writer. These are, these are geographical location independent things and skills they are not dependent on any location if you've heard of doctors without borders hey julius muzenda how are you doing welcome so let me put it out there let me now put it out there these people that travel the world for free are really not traveling for free because i'm sure i've made it clear somebody is paying or these people are working their tushes off to survive and live that lifestyle they love it they they they, they are free they, all everything they own is in a suitcase or in a backpack and that's the life they want to live and it's okay okay now let me put it out there no one can really travel the world for free no one unless you or someone else is footing the bill so do not buy into the hype okay so I'm sure you must be saying, ah, Julie, Sylvia, Kalunji, what the, what's this all about? It's the truth, darling. I want you to, to, to ruminate on that for just a second because, and then get rid of it and then understand that everybody has to find a way to create an income to live the lifestyle that they dream of. That's how it's done. You create an income or somebody helps you out or somebody funds your lifestyle and that's how it's going to happen. Now, however, you can live a fun field kind of sustainable travel lifestyle. If you know where to look and what to do and you are passionate, you are passionate. I am passionate about travel and motivated to actually make your travel for free dreams come true. Because when you do certain things, it's no longer a task. It's no longer something you, you feel like it's weighing you down. It's almost free. Hey, Sylvie, how are you doing? So this is how it's done. Now, I know that many people are afraid that they don't have the money to do the travel thing or some of the fun things you dream about in life. You don't have the money to buy that dream car and that dream house and whatever it is you dream for your life. I know a lot of people are going through that phase in their life. And it is a mindset thing. A, a few weeks ago, I told you, don't say I can't afford that. Never to you, never to your children. Say, I am working towards that. At least that's some more positive slant on things. And you will actually motivate yourself to do something about that state you're in and change it to that test you, state you want to be at. So when you talk about I can't afford things, you are perpetuating that state of being in your life. Now, you may have so many worries that prevent you from doing the things that you love to do. I get that. I've been there. Well, sometimes I still do worry about some things because it, just because you are living the life you want doesn't mean worry has gone away. It just means you have learned to handle it and you have learned to deal with it and sometimes to embrace it to take you to where you want to be. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love those things and I love those things. So give me some wows, give me some hearts, give me some of that good juice because I love to give the goodies. Hey, Suzette, how are you doing? Welcome to this broadcast. I missed you earlier. So money is the number one thing that is stopping many people from doing the things they want to do. We have a conditioned our minds that without money we can't live life i mean life can't go on i mean life went on before you even got money aka you were a baby somebody looked after you but the thing is they did look after you so it is a big factor in most people's lives to live the life they need in including traveling and living out your dreams now maybe you can't leave your job right away like the there's a category of people I described for you before. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am glowing. Thank you, Sylvie. Ooh, glowing. I love that. I'll tell Dr. Kalunji he's doing a great job. <laughs> if I'm glowing, I'm probably just sweating. Let's see. 
Actually, I am glowing because that's not sweat, eh? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Sylvia. I'm just joking. I'm just joking with you, golly. So maybe you can't leave your job right away, like I said, uh, and I, I do not recommend it. I do not recommend it at all. Do not jack in your job yet. Keep that job because you want to still pay your bills. You want to be able to plan your exit out of the job space into the travel life or whatever your dream lifestyle is without becoming a, a, a hermit because you can't afford anything else. Now there's no money coming in. Hey, Maggie. <laughs> Thank you. So you want to, you want to be able to have something coming in to fund your lifestyle. So but if I tell you, what if I tell you, what if I tell you right now that there's a way you can actually travel and find your dreams and live that lifestyle you want? What if I told you there was a way? You can become one of the things I'm going to share with you. Now, some of them are not exciting, but they're exciting for some people. They love that kind of life. But what I'm going to share with you straight away right now, it's something that most people can do if you put your mind to it and you decide this is the life I want. You could become a digital nomad like I am. I am a digital nomad. What is a digital nomad? Quite simply, it's the, a person who is location independent, as in you are not tied down to a specific location Although when you are a parent like me, you're kind of semi-tied down because your children have to go to school. But then again, some parents actually homeschool their children and therefore they are not tied down to a specific destination or location because they actually, their children don't go to a specific uh, geographical located school. Hey Elizabeth, how are you doing? So digital nomads use the power of the internet they leverage the power of the internet they only use their tablet phone or pc to create an income that they live on to fund their lifestyles so they work remotely with the help of the interweb internet wi-fi data mbs you name it hey millie how are you doing would you like to be one too i know i wanted to be one i've always dreamt about if you if you read my blog on uh you can manifest your life and you can manifest your travel dreams i actually walked you through my dreams as a little kid i literally used to climb trees and dream about the life that i see in the cards in the in the, you know those postcards those uh uh pen pal cards christmas cards i literally was like i want to live there i mean why can't i why i will live there one day so you can manifest your dreams if you believe with no questions asked that that is your life you can manifest it a lot of us bring a lot of uh questions we start to rationalize and and dissect things and become scientists and doctors in our life and start to cut out this you know you can't do this you can't do that and if you remove all that garbage and remove all that excess and remove all that baggage you can do a lot of things and way way cheaper than you can imagine certainly not free most of the time but the things that matter in life are free anyway your breath is free the life you're living is free as in you are alive when you wake up and you have no clothes on and you are as you are adam and eve you are freely given life and that and you don't even think about that so those things are free the love you have from your children your parents your that's free I mean, it's conditional for some people, but hey, it's predominantly free. The things that matter are free. So these things are the extras, the trappings we add to our life to make it what we consider meaningful to us. Thank you, Suzette. Thank you, Suzette, for sharing. You're a rock star, Suzette, heart-centered lady, an amazing, amazing person. I hope I'll see you one day in the physical on this planet. Now, would you like to become a digital nomad? I told you I'm a digital nomad. I work, I'm independent, free. Uh, I can work anywhere. Predominantly, if there's Wi-Fi, I'm good to go. Uh, I have a tablet, a phone, a laptop. I have three laptops. Shh, don't tell anybody. So I can work anywhere. Uh, the thing is, the concept is you have to do something. 
something that creates an income, generates an income. You are, what is it that you can sell? What is it that you're qualified to do? What is it that other people need that you can package and promote and therefore get paid to do? A lot of people really get tied down with, I must find a job. Yes, you could. You could be the job hunter and go find that job. You still have to sell your skills to somebody on the other side of the interview table and tell them you're the best person kitted out with everything they need for that job right now so you have to still learn how to package you and promote your brand you are the brand never ever forget that you are the brand the brand called you wherever you go there you are and therefore people take to your energy or they are repelled by it so package yourself and you can become a digital nomad package what you do and see if it is transborder can you go, say, to Kenya and still do what you do? Can you go to India and still do what you do? Would somebody be happy to hire your services? Because somebody has to pay you in order to do what you do and therefore live the life you live. And whatever you're paid, is it enough? for you to live on. Now, if you're not paying mortgages and paying daily bills as in electricity, gas, water, and all you're paying for is your food, the roof over your head, and maybe your data, Wi-Fi, and keeping your gadgets running, you might not need as much. It's the trappings of life that we add to our life, the mortgages, all those things that actually keep, keep us rooted in one place and sometimes even literally tied magnetically held there thank you lois thank you so much so you can actually become a digital nomad and uh, i can show you a concept where you can tick off your bucket list go places you have only dreamt of and do so on your budget it's not free like i said the people that do it for free, I actually mentioned them before. So if you haven't watched that, wait for the replay and you'll know how you can travel for free, right? What I'm talking about is not free, but it is way, way within your budget. You can do it if I can do it, if Lois can do it, if Suzette can do it, if John can do it, if Andy can do it, so can you. Okay, so there are other ways to become digital nomad so if you want to learn how you can become a digital nomad the way i did you can get, go check out my website pkjewelsworld.com forward slash fun pkjewelsworld.com forward slash fun or better still join us later today later today an amazing man he's a friend he's a great dad he's god loving He's called Andy. He's going to share with us and so many other people. So bring your friends and learn how you can do it for free. Uh, next to free. We're going to do this at 6.30 British Summer Time. Head on to pikajewelsworld.com forward slash travel and join us tonight. It's going to be a 35-40 minute power packed uh, fun event. Bring your drink of choice and let's have some fun. In the comfort of your home so you don't have to travel anywhere it is almost free okay so there are other ways to become a digital nomad and I'm gonna share them with you below you definitely will need to have access to a tablet PC or phone that is loaded with enough Wi-Fi and data because most of these things demand data okay hey Brenda how are you doing so uh, you will need an internet connection and uh, there are so many jobs op job, job opportunities out there if you know where to look uh, to earn you some money so that you can fund your travels like I said if you do not have no more standard bills to pay you will have a you can live on a lot less and uh, you could become a video editor uh, it's very easy you can take a short six-week course and you are good to go you can become a web developer Again, you do not have to learn coding and HTML. You can become a WordPress web, de web developer. Most websites and most web owners and blog owners are now on WordPress. You could also learn how to do Blogger and uh, all those other, other little sites out there. You can learn how to do basic on-page optimization, SEO, and, and theme, themes and plugins, those are click and go. It's really, really not hard to become a web developer these days. It's no longer the technical, scientific, you have to know physics, biology, chemistry, God knows what else to be a web developer. 
you can be a writer. I am a writer. I am a blogger. I am an author. I'm a podcaster. I'm a vlogger. I'm all those things. And I love all these things. I don't think they are hard work. I don't consider them hard work. And a lot of people are hiding behind their screens and thinking, I can't do that. I'm shy. Get over yourself already. Get out of your own way and let your star shine. Share your skills live like I do and get paid to do it. How cool is that? How cool is that? You could become a blogger. Now, that's how most people make money while traveling. They become travel bloggers. And how do you make money? Brands advertise with you. Brands reach out to you and tell you we love your blog. We love the way your community plugs into your content. And we want to pay you to promote our product. And we will pay you so much to do it. None of these make you an overnight income. So you would have to get started on that journey before you actually go out there and become a digital nomad so you establish yourself it's it's like any business really because you would become self-employed or a sole trader or entrepreneur travelpreneur digital nomad you call it what you want but you would be employed by you and you would be making a living and sometimes many times there are quite a few that i know you can become quite wealthy doing doing that you know my travel blog is an amazing brand. My business blog is a completely different kettle of fish and it's an amazing brand. I'm a digital nomad. I work on my tablet, my laptop. I work in the comfort of where, wherever I want to be. Most weeks, I, when my kids are back, are back home on the weekend, then we go off and do good stuff together. The only thing that ties me down is my children. Otherwise, I could quite easily be location independent. So you can be that. If you're a young person and you don't have children yet, what are you waiting for? Get your travel module on and start living the life you dream of today. So many successful bloggers around the world, like I said, brands will reach out to you. They'll want to advertise with you. They'll want to uh, share stuff with your audience. They'll want to work with you and they are willing to pay a monthly retainer to keep their advert, their, their brand within your blog's or even a full-blown article on their product, platform, or service every so often. You can do it. If I can do it, so can you. Now, it's not for everybody, like I said, okay? So, there are other ways to travel for free or on the cheap, and here they are. And these are the ones that are not so exciting, but they're exciting for certain people because certain people are very adventurous. They don't mind doing these things. They want to live the life of freedom. It's pure freedom for these people and they take a bit of personal risk there is a bit of personal security involved in some of these things and here they are pet sitting i know a good friend he's called ryan biddulph i don't know if you know him he is a global author he has written over 124 books so he's a writer he sells these books on amazon and they are selling every blessed day he uh, he's a blogger on blogging from paradise and uh, he literally pet sits sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes he does pet sitting where someone invites you to go and look after their pets while they go away on a holiday, short, long, it does not matter. You stay in their home, you eat their food, you, you use their electricity, you have their Wi-Fi, you are sitting their far bellies and they pay you for the pleasure as well. How cool is that? Now, of course, in Africa, this may not be very common. In Europe, in Asia, in, in, in the Americas, it's quite common to actually do pet sitting. But you have to be that person who loves pets. You have to know how to handle pets. You have to know how to, you have to love pets, really, in order to do this kind of thing. Number two, you could also be an au pair, as in babysitting. That means you go, you go mind people's children and they pay you an hourly rate for that. You could even be a living au pair. You could just be uh, somebody who goes as and when you're needed. Now, this could be a bit more location-centered, but you do not really have to be because people want to know where you're coming from. They want to know your, your references. They want to be sure that you are not going to run off with their kids. So they don't want somebody walking, traveling all over the place every day. But it is one of the ways you can actually earn some money while you travel or fund your travels without especially if you are not the person who is wanting to plant a house in the ground and get a mortgage and be stuck in one place because that's what you can do sometimes and that's what normal life is about 
<laughs> it's a good deal. Thank you, Mato. Thank you. Hey, Sheena, how are you doing? You could, uh, so we've done pet sitting. You could be child minding or become an au pair. Au pairs are paid a good rate here in UK, up to £25 an hour. How cool is that? Eh? But you have to have your kit together. You have to have your CRB checks. You have to be somebody who loves children. You have to probably be trained in child in child care as well. So you have to have some of that. So that's why I said you in exchange for your services, skills, expertise, you would be paid. So it's not just anybody who walks off the street that you're going to become whatever I'm talking about. Okay, hitchhiking. This is another way to travel for free or on the cheap. Hitchhikers are those people that I talked about who love adventure, who have a bit of personal risk included. They, they thrive on that adrenaline. They kind of like, they, do, they are very sociable. They like talking to total strangers and getting in total strangers' cars so that they can be moved from one destination to another. You could, for instance, you could hitchhike from uh, Edinburgh to London. That means you've saved on the bus fare, you've saved on the ta taxi fare, train fare, and someone's dry doing all the driving, so all you're doing is enjoying their, their car and their fuel and everything. You could offer to chip in for the fuel if you're a good hitchhiker. <laughs> you love kids and pets? Well, there you go, Margaret. There you go. Now, so hitchhikers are also people who actually do travel for free a lot. You can't hitchhike on a flight. So if you're going to go into a different destination that's transatlantic, that needs an air, air flight, you would definitely need to fly over there. So you'd need some money. But if you are in a very specific continent, you could go by road and you could hitchhike your way from country to country to country. You could do Route 66 in the U.S. by hitchhiking. A lot of people do that. So that's one way of hitchhike while gala evelyn how are you doing now you could go couch surfing there's a whole website a whole community of couch surfers who literally uh, couch surfing is exactly what it is you go sleep on someone's couch for the night and you could do it for several nights you could do it for several weeks even months uh, or you could do it for just a few hours couch surfing now you can go to couchsurfing.com and learn more about that uh, there's, there are also websites for pet sitting, there are websites for hitchhiking, there are websites for uh, au pairs. You can just Google them or you there will be a blog coming out next week or the week after with all these details at pikajewelsworld.com. So look out for it. But definitely there are several websites you can look up online to actually do these things. I could, some, someone was actually asking me, how can, I get, uh, how can I get money to travel to Europe? This is one of the ways you can, you can do these things. Okay, so couch surfing is one of them. You don't get paid to couch surf. You actually could end up paying somebody to uh, sleep on their couch, but usually it's free if you join that, that community uh, at couchsurfing.com. And I think there's a small fee you pay annually because they wanna, that's when they vet you so that they know you are somebody who is integral and you're not going to go to someone's home and rob them blind. So again, there's a risk with the homeowners bringing in a stranger to stay with them. But, you know, some people, th they thrive on that adrenaline. They thrive on that kind of thing. So you could use your reward points. Now, what are reward points? Uh, you could use your air miles if you try, if you fly a lot like we do, you could use uh, your reward points. There are some, especially in Europe, Asia, America, there are some places where you buy stuff and you get reward points. You get rewarded for shopping or using that resource or service. We have a concept and I'm part of a global community that uh, rewards you the same way. You earn reward points dollar to dollar for being part of this community. Every month you earn a specific amount of reward points that you can use to go and travel the world in a completely different style. This kind of travel is not hostel type. It is not two, three star. It is five star at value prices. If you want to upgrade your lifestyle, if you want to upgrade your standard of living, this is the way to travel. The it is for me anyway. I love my creature comforts. I do, I do not want to end up in a hostel somewhere. I don't want to sleep in a tent, not unless I'm taking my kids camping, in which case I like to go glamping as opposed to camping. Uh, glamping is a completely different kettle of fish. And definitely, definitely, I, I love to, do, to, to go to the places that I saw when I was young in my daydreams. If you want to read about my blog, pikajuswa.com forward slash uh, you can manifest your travel, manifest travel. That's the blog. 
or you can search for it in the search bar at pkjewelsworld.com. It is a really good read if I say so myself. Or you can read about it in my book coming up, uh, Confessions of a Travel of an Afro Travel Preneur. That's the title. I've given the, the chicken away. Confessions of an Afro Travel Preneur. Because I believe many of my sisters and brothers can actually live this life. Like I said, you don't have to be tied down with mortgages, but you can actually get a mortgage if when you're still young and then go away and do your travels when you're older. You don't have to wait till you're old and 65, 70 to start traveling because that's not the way to do it. A lot of people want to work for 40 years and go travel after that. At that point, you're old, your body is old, your mind is old, your joints are old, and your bank account is not as exciting because there's a lot less going in unless you've created your pension today. That means you've set your, 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 your pension plan, you are cre you ha you're investing in several things that are bringing in a lot of money, maybe preferably real estate, and therefore you are set for life. Some of us have, others haven't. So you want to start doing that now. There is no time like the present to start putting your pension and your letter, Twilight Life, in order. Personally, I'll never retire because I do not, I do not live a life I want to retire from. I, I do not live a life that I want a vacation from. I am on a vacation almost every day of my life. I love my life. That is what you should do. When you love your life so much, it is a vacation in itself. Because go look up what vacation means. So, guys, those are the ways you can travel for free. Really. Free, in quotes. In my, in my book, it is more value travel, traveling on your budget, or traveling in a way that you feel comfortable with, that you are maybe thrills you, so you want to go hitchhiking and, and stopping strangers take you places, or you can look after people's babies, whether far babies or real but human babies. You can go and stay on someone's couch as long as it's in paradise and they're happy to have you. You can do that. By the way, there's another way to couch serve, but in a more in on a bigger scale. It's called Airbnb. And you can do that where you can go to someone's home and pay them for the pleasure. It's not very cheap usually, but they do offer you $25 for your first Airbnb experience. Again, there will be a blog post coming near you where you can learn how to do that as well. So that's it from me today. Thank you, Suzette. Thank you so much. Uh, there are so many ways you can, you, you can design your life and live it the way you want. You, you don't have to, to subscribe to the normal... Uh, standard life that people think you should live go to school get a job get get married create babies and wait till you retire and die you can do different things differently thank you Rukia. thank you so much so rise and shine to your awesome destiny you know you want to see do and be more in your life and yes you can and i'm ready to show you at pkjewelsworld.com forward slash fun or you can join us later today at 6 30 british summer time at pkjewelsworld.com forward slash travel bring a drink of your choice in the comfort of your home and let us wow you by how ordinary people are living extraordinary lives making a living giving giving back to communities to societies across the globe we've built over a hundred schools across the globe we have helped widows uh, to start their life afresh we have created clean water sources for people across the globe globe in India in Africa it is an amazing concept and it, it allows us to also travel the world in a style that most people dream of in their lives and dream of going once if ever and we do that every year like clockwork i know people who have already had 10 20 vacations and by the way if you don't know a vacation is just taking time out for you to re to refill that life pot and refill your energy and get back to your normal day-to-day -day grind hustle whatever you want to call it there are a lot of people living that life and there are ordinary people like you and me do you think you are worthy I thought I was. How about you? Follow me right here on Facebook if you haven't yet done so because I love making new friends. Let's connect in the inbox and have a chat and let's get to know each other better. If you're on YouTube, absolutely hit that subscribe button. By the way, my YouTube channel is on my, right, right there on the sidebar where you, you get to know more about me. 
my youtube channel is right there as well you can go check it out and subscribe it's just a click isn't it and uh, yeah share 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 and let somebody know that life can be so much more fun when somebody else is paying god bless you thank you for watching thank you for watching the the live thank you for watching the replay i appreciate you i love you guys and yeah keep doing and keep smiling because the world smiles with you god bless you bye